Chuck Schumer wants to launch an investigation into TikTok. But I feel like he's just doing this so he can have someone come to Congress to explain what TikTok is. <laughs> he's like, I tried to subpoena my granddaughter, but she never returns my calls. <laughs> never returns my calls. But for real, it, it would be very serious if the Chinese can use TikTok for spying. Because, I mean, with this information, China can learn all of America's <laughs> dance moves, you know? They're just gonna be figuring it all out. They're like, yeah. Oh, yeah, we figured it all out. <laughs> that's the thing that's kept the U.S. ahead of China all this time. China's there like, we have nuclear weapons and 5G, but we can't figure out how to hit the wall. When do you lock? Oh! <laughs> and keep in mind, TikTok is like 90% teenagers. So I'm not worried that China's watching me when I'm there. I'm more worried that the dude from Catch a Predator is gonna pop up and be like, Trevor, what are you doing here? I'm just here for the memes! <laughs> I'm just here for the memes, I swear! <laughs> and can we agree on something, people? At this point, let's just agree that every app is spying on us, okay? Just work under that assumption. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, they're all watching us. The only app that somehow doesn't know your location is Uber. That is the only one <laughs> for some strange reason. They just can't figure it out. Netflix, streaming giant and the murderer of Blockbuster. Well, after revolutionizing TV, the streaming service is now revolutionizing time. Some backlash Netflix is getting from Hollywood directors. So yesterday, the streaming service said it plans to test a new feature to allow viewers to either speed up or slow down a movie on their smartphones. Well, director Judd Apatow thinks it is a terrible idea. He tweeted, no, Netflix, no. Don't make me have to call every director and show creator on Earth to fight you on this. Netflix released a statement saying, we're always experimenting with new ways to help members use Netflix. Yes, Netflix is launching a new feature that will allow users to watch content at a faster speed, which I think is great because now it'll only take three hours to get through an Avengers movie, which is wonderful, yeah. <laughs> and I can't wait to watch Nine Years a Slave. It's not as bad anymore. <laughs> it's not as bad. But this is a big move for Netflix. And in response, HBO says they're gonna introduce a button that lets you completely skip the final season of Game of Thrones. It's really gonna... <laughs> it's gonna increase the experience. Like, people are just like, yeah, this is enhancing it. You know what I think Netflix needs, though? Uh, they need to introduce a with my parents button, yeah? <laughs> So you can push it, and then it skips all the sex scenes. <laughs> yeah, you know, now the movie will just be like, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Oh, good morning. Oh, yeah, good morning. Oh, wow. <laughs> Since he joined the cast of Dancing with the Stars, Sean Spicer has brought everyone together. It's just to laugh at his terrible dancing. <laughs> Sean and Lindsay. At the bottom are Sean and Lindsay. And at the bottom are Sean and Lindsay. Dancing doesn't come easy to you. It looked like they were setting cement to your hips. Technically, it wasn't, you know, great. You are just a little bit robotic. What were you doing there? You were like being attacked <laughs> by a swarm of wasps. You've got to admit, it is fun to watch the judges dragging him. Like, I actually wish every Trump official had to go through this after leaving the White House. <laughs> yeah, just be like the judges going, Stephen Miller, you danced like a snake trying to shed its skin. <laughs> He's like, oh, I wasn't dancing, I did just shed my skin. <laughs> but those judges are right about Spicer. Not only was he bad at lying to the press, it turns out his hips also can't lie for shit, right? <laughs> In fact, I'm not even sure that he has hips. I wouldn't be surprised if underneath that stupid outfit, he just has the body of a Lego. Like, that's what it is. <laughs> okay, you gotta admit, that's a pretty genius move for the protesters to blend in with regular people celebrating Halloween. Yeah, because the police can't tell the difference between protesters and trick-or-treaters. Yeah, sort of like starting a fight club in the middle of Boston. You don't know, is this an illegal fight? <laughs> or just the usual Dunkin' Donuts parking lot fight? You don't know. <laughs> now, what's interesting, is that the protests in Hong Kong originally began because of an extradition bill. But now they've snowballed into a protest about Chinese rule over Hong Kong in general. Because, you see, protests are a lot like arguments in relationships. You say it's about the dishes, but really it's about something bigger. <laughs> you know, like you don't communicate well, <laughs> or you hooked up with your mother-in-law, you know? <laughs> yeah, you said I should get along with her. 